Yeah. Yeah. I like that toolbox. <laughs> oh, good day, everybody. How's everybody doing? I uh, see the my little gremlin mechanics didn't come out here and work on this last night. What do I pay him for? Jeez, what do I pay him for? Hey, everybody, how's it going? Well, uh, my head is spinning, 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 spinning. I tell you, it's getting crazier and crazier to buy parts for stuff. Looked on eBay for gasket sets for this. 69 to 80 bucks. Something, you know, the, this little gut feeling of mine, I'm kind of trusting that more and more. I just couldn't bring it to hit the buy it now button. So I went to Old Reliable that we've used in the past, 1AAuto.com. Their gasket set with bolts was a little bit more, but I called them a couple, three times, and I'm like, you know, I'm really trying to make my money stretch as far as I can. Get the most bang for my buck, you know. And they said, unfortunately, not much stuff is made in the U.S. Gasket-wise, he says, actually, there are no more U.S.-made gaskets as far as they know. It's all coming from Taiwan or China. But he said, the picture that you see is the actual stuff you're going to get. I was just looking at it looking at their picture compared to the other pictures I've looked at, the other stuff, the head gaskets look so much better. And they, they've they stood behind stuff, and he says, you know, you got a lifetime warranty with these parts. And I said, yeah, I'll go ahead and do it. And then, uh, so, I got the parts coming for that. I got the parts coming for the John Deere. Uh, I gotta call the dealership and let see when they think I'll be in because some of the stuff I needed for that they didn't have. They had to order it. Still available, but they had to order it. Yeah, YouTube YouTube money finally went into my account. Which between that and that, was so yeah. And then on the transmission here. I called the guy that I watched the videos that's also sells stuff and I got a few questions for him. I noticed the kits that they offer get rid of what they call a parasitic drag in the transmission. And I cannot find any of those kits. Any of the other kits I look at don't have the same options as it is. And uh the okay, and then uh and he said the same thing. Right there, the wiring, that gray plug. When I uh, got it out of the vehicle, I still had tranny fluid in it. And when I was moving it around, whoa, sorry, whoa, 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 whoa. Tranny fluid come up out around the pins. And he says, yeah, you got to replace that. So he's going to get me a price on that. And what I'm running into, I've been trying to go through the local parts houses. And what these parts houses are having done to them is crazy. They are trying to get the parts houses to sell complete units instead of selling you the parts to fix your own stuff. Hate to say it seems like the day and age of fixing our own stuff is coming to an end because they're trying to sell units instead of parts. And that's what the one store said. You know, they're trying to get people to not want to fix their stuff. They just want to sell chunks. So... Because they said they used to be able to get transmission parts, no problem, and now I hope they, they get one option. Sell the whole unit. Or if you want to really buy the parts, we're going to make you go through a half a dozen books and a half a compu dozen computer screens and change the part number on you seven times before you're going to finally find it. So who wants to do all that just for a few dollar part, so... Anyway, so I'm going to call that guy back here, have a little more talk with him about this transmission. And uh, see what else he can find. And uh, hopefully with something else I got going and buddy comes through with money there, I'll have the transmission kit or transmission kits coming. 
because uh, I might go ahead and rebuild that other one because I might have a home for that tranny already. So, sorry about the scanner. I'm just too lazy to get up, turn it off today. So with that, I am going to go start fishing around and finding bolts to get it, that other head off so they can go and be cleaned up and get all that carbon and crap off them and get them cleaned and crack checked. Just make sure they haven't been hot. And three to five days. So today's what Thursday. So business day. So Friday, Monday, Tuesday. And these guys, I'm going to guess. Tuesday, I'll have the gaskets for this. So, anyway, all right, I better get to work. Holy mother, McGee! Getting that exhaust manifold off on the back was a bitch and a trucker half. Oh God! I didn't think I was ever going to get it. But it's off. I hope I can get to the head bolts. Holy moly. These engineers need to learn to work on these cars so they wouldn't make them so damn hard to work on. Oh, yeah. yeah. And now, I had a. I'm actually thinking I might get an oil pan gasket. I think I can take the oil pan off this motor. And I'm just going to wash the ever and shit out of this lifter valley. Wash it all down and then. Call it good. Then take the pan off, have the pan cleaned and washed. And holy moly! Oh, speaking of that, good time for a break. I want to call this guy on the train. Okay, after a couple of calls back and forth, and I asked the guy if he minds if I say anything. He said, "Nope, that's no problem." Uh, I am dealing with. Uh, he's got a YouTube channel. If I remember to put it in the description, I will. It's transmission bench. Um, he shows rebuilding the Ford transmission, the 4L60 transmission, and now he's working on a Chrysler transmission. Uh, found out the wiring harness is 5280. This new shaft here, he says it's brand new, not used. This this press is out of here too, so I've got to be careful doing that. That's 53 bucks. So those two pieces are 105 bucks, and then this is also on the website. I gotta go back to get that price again, but it's looking like I well with torque converter, it's heavy. Unless I can find another one. Um, damn torque converter is 195 bucks. 30 of it's for the shipping, though. So five, seven. It's going to be all of $800, just the materials. Makes me wonder about the tranny that got rebuilt. That's in my green truck. The first green truck, that tranny done good. This truck, well, we haven't got to drive it. I got the two transmissions with new torque converters, supposed to have been new. God, did he say new or used or remained on the... I don't remember anyway. I got those two trannies rebuilt for seven hundred bucks. Kind of makes me think that none of the bushings or anything else have been replaced. Because I have shopped around, and right now, transmission bench is the best price and has. He's uh, on the valve body. He, he throws in all the solenoids. All the solenoids are in there. Um, the good metal discs that are supposed to have the holes in it for the, the relief uh, and stop uh, some uh, parasitic drag. That's what it was. <laughs> Got tongue tied. So, yeah, it, it, it's. Uh, Really, really good, and God, that's not a bad price. Fifty-three bucks, brand new, for that stator shaft. I was finding them on eBay, seventy-five, eighty. The highest one was ninety. 
and some of those were remand and they were that price I'm like wow so I finally now know how to double check the length and then I asked him the dire question I says as long as it's a 4L60E it doesn't matter if it came out of a blazer pickup a dually a van a Tahoe he says it's a 4L60E it don't make a difference if the proper years I, I need to clarify that some of the later 4L60E's now after 2000 there is a difference in the shaft here they got a big shaft and that seal has moved from there behind here down here those are the differences and uh, and well the, uh, the other physical difference is like my 96 90 okay 96 to 97 were the two-piece transmit well they had the lower bell housing that come off this is a two-piece case and there is a difference on some torque well the bigger torque bigger shaft had a bigger torque converter so that bell housing is a little deeper oh don't listen to me go to the transmission bench and he's got great videos and explains a lot and it just I'm glad a friend of mine directed me to him so we just gotta get some money collected and get everything washed up cleaned up and we'll be ready to go he even told me a little trick to use to protect the seal when I'm a putting a seal in and I'm like that makes a lot of sense involves a two-liter plastic pop bottle yeah so anyway I'm going to start busting the head bolts out and get that other head off this thing I've got okay one bolt technically but two what a piss poor freaking farting design this is they put a goddamn where is it? Where the hell's my finger? Right there, they got that stud, which is right above the last head bolt right there. I just had that all lifted up, had the socket on there, turn it. You think that little bastard wants to come out? No, the fucking end just stripped. That's all I got left, and then this thing's done for the teardown. I guess it's a good time to take a break because I'm getting really flustered right now oh that's a stupid design I'm about ready to bust that off but by the time I bust it off then I ain't gonna be able to get it out of the head so I don't know what I'm gonna do okay there's another dirty grungy dirty head I know my hands are been dirty but I'm getting to work see there's that stupid bolt I did get it out. I had to go with a 15 millimeter, which is bigger than what the bolt was, and I got it down on there just far enough to get that out. So, I mean, the heads itself look okay, but that don't mean shit. But uh, again, it was a good thing that uh, replacing the head gaskets. Excuse me. Both sides of that gasket like that. I don't know if that one from yesterday. Ouch! Ow, foot. Was that way? Looks like it. Yep. Both sides that one too. Yeah, that was getting close to the water jacket there. Hmm. So yeah. And then there's cylinder number four with a crack. And let's see. Nah, I know that's drained out, but seeing that shit there, that tells me that the water was getting by. Uh, look at right there, you can tell water had been sitting there, it's starting to eat on the. So that didn't take probably more than likely need to be 
surfaced. Ugh. Yep, this gasket's breaking. No, I know Harvest is in a hurry. Oh, maybe this guy's going to slow down. Nope! Let's blow it. Everybody's been blowing that stop sign. I'm waiting for the day that somebody does that and somebody gets killed there. So, just got a couple of sensors. Oh, that's probably where that one gas goes I didn't recognize. But we're going to take that in along with the heads get that all cleaned and probably have to have that intake surface. I'm trying to get a hold of my machinist right now, but he... I don't know if I should tell you guys, but I found the thing saying how long the stuff's been down there. Holy crap. Yeah, I got to have a talk with him. This is getting a little ridiculous. April, my motor, oh, since before April. That small block in the 454 been down there. So, anyway, uh, so I'm not shutting you off like this, but. Oh, and I didn't shut it off. Okay, like I showed you, the head's out. And I pulled all the lifters out, wiped them all down, because you should have seen the amount of watery oil in there. And I've washed that out with solvent. And rinsed it with a little gasoline. I know, I know. So, got that. Uh, this poor motor's been leaking oil for a while. So, it's all dirty, grungy down in there. So, I washed the best I could earlier when I had the front end off, but uh, yeah. Um, so hopefully I haven't done any damage to the bearings. I shouldn't have. I didn't. No. Oops, damn it. Oh, I'm tricking. Ah. Anyway, yeah, that's what I'm doing now. Looking and dreaming and... Uh, let's see. D -d -d -d. Yeah. Right, broken. Now. Hmm. Uh, yeah, so now speaking of that, I'm gonna try calling the machine shop again. Alrighty, well got a hold of the machine shop and we're trying to get down there before he takes off. He said he had time to get her get him done. I hope so. Better not take as long as it did has on the other, so I'm gonna say something to him too about that. I mean Really, I mean, we've been paying. My buddy's almost got the 454 paid for, and it's not done. Really? Come on. Anyway, get this down there, find out what I can go pick them up, and uh, go from there. So, with that, thanks for watching TLC Bear 2, and y'all have a great day, or a great weekend coming up here, and we'll see you in the next video. Take her easy.